Bob, you just got back from Kiev a few days ago. We're going to talk a bit more about what that experience was like for you when you were shooting there. Uh, first of all, what are your initial impressions just coming back like that, fresh from the field? You know, the, the, what, what's happening is horrific. You know, it, it's almost unimaginable. It, fe it felt at times as if it was surreal, that it really, what you were seeing with your own eyes couldn't possibly be true. That, you know, at this time, in tw 20 years into the 21st century, uh, that a, a major European country like Russia has launched an entirely unprovoked attack on a considerably smaller but still very large European country, the size of France, it has to be said, uh, and, and to see hundreds of thousands of women and children and the elderly on the road fleeing uh, absolutely wanton, indiscriminate uh, attacks by missiles on, on their cities. Uh, it was awful. Uh, and to get messages from people that I know around Ukraine saying what they were seeing in other cities like Mariupol, for instance, I know from a previous trip to Ukraine, uh, a, Rus uh, a Ukrainian soldier who's serving on the outskirts of uh, Mariupol talking about bodies, children, women, you know, strewn about the streets. And you think, is this really, can this really be happening? You know, what on earth has driven Vladimir Putin and those around him to launch this completely unprovoked attack? Uh, so, I mean, that, that was the most difficult thing for me to get my head around uh, whilst I was there, you know, to suddenly be thrown into something which we thought had ended with, with the Second World War. And then with the end of the Cold War. But here again, you know, we're back to the sort of nationalism that led the world into the Second World War and before that, the First World War. And at this stage, who knows where this is going to end? Rob, stay with me. Uh, we're going to